What's up, people? What I have here is a 2011 MacBook Pro, but it doesn't work too good right now. The battery died, the hard drive is slow, and the RAM sucks on it. So I'm going to do a full upgrade. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's see what I bought. So I got a Western Digital solid state hard drive. This is going to speed things up super fast. 250 gigabytes. SSD, that's what makes things fast. The old hard drive on this is a 5400 RPM drive. It's pretty slow. I also got 8 gigabytes of memory. It's two 4 gigabytes each. And this one is from Corsair. It's also a 1333 megahertz, which is the same on my MacBook right now. So, it's the same speed. And this should be the battery. Because my battery died. And good thing I bought this because I really needed these uh, screwdrivers. I couldn't figure out how to open up this Mac, so I'll show you using these screwdrivers. This battery for the MacBook is by SLE Tech. So, I got it on Amazon. It had really high reviews, so it should be good. Because right now, my MacBook doesn't work without plugging it directly in to the power source. That's what we're replacing today. Let's do this! Okay, so you notice that the screws on these are, um, see, they're pretty small. Small little Phillips. I have um, my own screwdriver here, but none of these pieces fit it. So you need a pretty small one. So let's check it out. Yep, comes right off. Come on, sucker. There we go. So one thing I forgot to mention is that I created this boot up USB drive so that when I install the new SSD hard drive, I can boot directly into this USB and it will allow me to install the new Mac OS Sierra. So check out my other video on how to create this USB boot up drive. There's a link in the description below. Okay, so to open this up, I think we got to pull on the back here, right back here, lift it up, and then it comes out, boom, just like that. There it is. I'll do the hard drive first, then I'll take out the battery so that I can put in the RAM a lot easier. Next up, got to take off the screws for this bracket right here that's holding it down and that takes a regular Phillips okay so it looks like I can just lift this up and there's the bracket now I think if I just pull this up it comes out here's our hard oh shit gotta unplug that wire easy breezy and this is the old Hitachi hard drive 320 gigabytes you see right there the RPM is 5400 pretty slow so the new one is a SSD so what some other people are doing is they're taking out their CD-ROM drive and they're buying a bay where they can put this hard drive in place and then you'll have two hard drives you can also put another SSD hard drive and they'll make it super fast too but only bought one SSD and it'll be pretty fast still so it's all good alright so now I'm taking off these screws on this old hard drive because I need them for the new one Western Digital and we're gonna put these screws into the new hard drive I got all four screws on so let's plug it back in be careful And to slide it back in, you gotta tilt like that. Get into the grooves. Fits perfect. Now let's install back the bracket. Hard drive done. Let's do the battery. To do the battery, we gotta peel back this little tape here. 
and uh, so we gotta unscrew this right here and there's another screw right here alright so next up I gotta take this off where the power connector is there we go that came off there we go and here's the power stupid battery died on me to pop up the memory there's the clips right here just gotta pull them out and you hear snap and that lifts up like that and then I just gotta pull them straight out oh yeah there we go memory is out new memory sticks let's put them in start with the bottom first alright so I heard that you gotta get these memory card sticks really snug in here or else when you boot up it's gonna beep push that baby down last one memory is in last piece battery slide this sucker in okay I think I'm good let's put the cover back on and boot this sucker up Alright, so now let's plug in the USB boot up drive. This has Mac OS Sierra on it and it'll boot directly into this USB drive. If you want to see a video on how I created this, look at the description with the link below. Now I'm going to hold Option when I boot it up. And now, when I click on install Mac OS Sierra right here, it's using it from the uh, USB drive. Alright, so once it's loaded up, this is what we'll see, Mac OS Utilities. And I'm going to go to Disk Utility. Click Continue. And right here is where my uh, new Western Digital hard drive is. So, um, first thing you want to do is to erase this drive and um, give it a name. You know, I did this already, uh, WD Mac OS. Uh, you can name it anything you want, you just call it Mac OS if you want. And uh, you want it as Mac OS Extended Journal. Erase that. It's done. Now, we want to close this out. And right here, install Mac OS. There it is. Mac OS Sierra. To set up installation Mac OS Sierra, click continue. So just go through the steps and install the new operating system. You're good to go. Right here, uh, it's going to ask where to install it. This is the new SSD hard drive I installed, so I'm going to put it on there. And it's saying about 7 minutes, but it's going to take like 40 minutes or so. Alright, so while this is installing, you can watch me eat this juicy burrito. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice juicy burrito. Come on, sucker. Hurry up. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. In my belly. Here you go. And here it is. You'll see right here, here's the hard drive. The uh, Western Digital, 250 gigabytes. SSD hard drive. And here's the memory, eight gigabytes installed. 
Let's test out some of the speeds on here. We'll just go to um, see everything's running pretty fast. Or we'll watch a uh, trailer real quick. It's running at 1080p right now. So it's pretty good. Uh, here I'll go to. Let's give Siri a test here. Uh, that's one of the cool things about Mac OS Sierra that I wanted to try. Hey Siri, I'm hungry. Where can I find a pizza? Okay, here's what I found. That's pretty sweet. Hey Siri, what concerts are playing nearby? Okay, I found this on the web for what concerts are playing nearby. So there you go. Mac OS Sierra on a MacBook Pro 2011 with a new SSD hard drive installed and 8 gigabytes of memory. Hey, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Peace. There we go. My phone is on the screen. Now if I, uh, see so you can select your iPhone. And I also want my microphone to go through my iPhone. So now when I record and play some Clash Royale, it's going to record it. That's awesome. Awesome!